The testimony for the government at today's probable cause and detention hearing came from a special federal agent and the manager of stashes in Dorchester testified on behalf of the defense. The judge took this matter under advisement, which means that the owner of stashes will be staying behind bars, at least for now. All I can say, innocent until proven guilty. Family members and friends of the owner of Stash's Pizza in Dorchester and other locations showed up to show their support in the courtroom and after the probable cause and detention hearing for Steve Papantoniadis, who is facing charges of forced labor. What the government was saying, it's unheard of. The U.S. attorney says Papantoniadis physically abused and threatened seven undocumented employees for approximately 14 years while paying them low wages and often without breaks or overtime pay. In some cases, employees required medical attention at hospitals after the alleged assaults. 110 percent never uh, touched anybody. It didn't have uh, absolutely not. As for the threats, federal prosecutors say Papantoniadis threatened to kill the undocumented employees or have them deported. One alleged victim says he was forced to work 85 to 115 hours per week. You know what? Give the guy a chance. He's, he's innocent until proven guilty. Let's see what happens, you know? And it's sad. If these people are doing this, it's sad. The defense argues that the alleged victims, who are now former employees, are making these accusations because, as human trafficking victims, the government is helping them to obtain visas to stay in this country. That federal agent also testified that the investigation produced possible evidence of unemployment fraud and SBA loan fraud. As of now, Papantoniadis is not charged in connection with those matters. Reporting live at Federal Court in South Boston, Todd Keskiewicz, WCVB.